All right, guys, just in that garage back at you. I had a little rough spell of sickness went through the family. I kind of put things off for a little bit. But what we're going to do, as I have seen many, many times in a lot of the uh, sites on the internet that I'm a part of, the groups that I'm a part of, people asking about Baja Warrior 200s and torque converters. And uh, should they put a riser plate on it and this, that, and the other? Uh, to get the torque converter to fit properly. Well, I'm gonna show you how I do it. it. may not be the way everybody does it, but I'm just gonna show you how I do it and maybe in return it will help somebody. So uh, I've already got everything kind of set up. So I'm gonna show you what I what I start off doing. Is I actually, you know, what I'm doing, this is an old Baja Warrior 200. I actually had a built Predator motor on it. And I took that motor off and we'll sort of put a stock um, Predator motor on it, a new torque converter. Just get it cleaned up, put the uh, old faux tank back on it, and uh, sell it. I got another project that I'm gonna move to. Y'all see about that a little later on down the line in another video. But uh, what I like to do is, uh, let me get this all put right here on the, on the thing. All right. Go ahead and take a couple couple bolts and put your torque converter on the motor and it doesn't have to be really tight just snug it up a little bit with a couple bolts now what you're going to do and uh what i'm going to show you it does not compromise the back plate at all um it's still just as strong i've done this on many 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 torque converters on this on the same bike and i've never had any issues with it what you're going to do is take you a square once you get this this mounted up and what happens is this bottom plate uh does not it hits this bar right here and it does not let the torque converter snug all the way up to the engine and also you lose your uh movement of the engine sliding front and back because the torque converter won't hit this so what you're going to want to do is take a square and put it about an eighth of an inch above this bar and get it as straight as you can about an eighth of an inch above this bar right here the bar that runs right up under the the motor you're going to take you a sharpie and you're gonna draw you a line right here. Trace it out right there. That's where you're gonna cut that plate. And once you do that, it's gonna allow this torque converter to snug and, and pull up all the way to the engine, tighten up like it's supposed to, and it gives you full front and back motion without this plate interfering with this right here. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's get this thing cut and we'll get it put on. bring it over here to my grinder my wire brush and uh i'll just hit these knock these edges down keep it from being sharp it out there's no sharp edges on it and it's ready to go back on the bike all right let's get it a 
Now, a lot of people will say put uh, Loctite Loctite on your, your bolts and stuff, but uh, I can tell you right now, if everything's done correctly like it's supposed to be done, you won't need any Loctite. I've been doing this a long time and I've never had, I have never had a uh, torque converter bolt come loose. Matter of fact, I use the uh, bullet lines torque converters and I've always had really good luck with those. Uh, they seem to be really, really good torque converters. Um, the built engine I had on here, um, it's a modified 212 and uh, had a billet rod, PVL flywheel, 22 pound valve springs, hot 265 cam, um, advanced timing at 32 degrees and um, had the same belt on that thing uh, for a year. And, uh, if you put everything on there like it's supposed to be and line everything up correctly, you're good to go. So, now when tightening these, you can use a torque wrench. If you decide to do the torque wrench, I always, if I use one, I do about 15 pounds. But you don't really need a torque wrench. Just give it a couple good ugga duggas and you'll be good to go. Now, I haven't tightened this engine down yet. I won't do that until I get yeah, everything on there and the chain back on and like it's supposed to be so. I'll give y'all a close up before. All right, this is what you end up with. That's the finished product right there, see? You gotta buy maybe a quarter inch gap right there but it gives the motor play move back and forth and uh it's no longer you no longer need an engine riser or anything like that and another thing y'all might be saying i got this old thick thick heavy duty rubber mat i always put a thin piece in between my motor and the frame on anything that i build and it really does help with vibration it cuts down on vibration a lot so this there this uh, this has a pin on the back um, and if you tighten this up too tight what it does it'll pull pressure on that pin on the back plate and it'll cause that pin to pop and you'll lose this whole setup right here so usually what I'll do is I'll hit it a couple times and I'll check that pin on the back Yeah, these bullet line torque converters, man, they have all—they're always really laser straight. The the uh, drivers and pulleys—they don't never have any real bad wobble to them, like your like your uh, really just cheap made torque converters. They're always really straight and true. So that's another thing I really really like about them.
another thing that I like to do is uh, when I put this uh, pulley on here, I'll take some dry graphite. I'll take some dry graphite and I just put a little bit on there. And what that does is later on, down the line, when you get ready to take this thing off, it'll really help out with that, so. But if you do, if you do preventive maintenance on these things and take them apart and clean them uh, every so often like, like you need to or supposed to, uh, you'll never have any issues with them coming off anyway, so. thing lined up. I always keep some uh, three quarter inch washers in stock. Some, and these uh, I also keep some of these in stock from Tractor Supply. They're three quarter inch. Um, had a brain fart. Uh, lockers, and uh, they're a little bit thicker. They're a little bit thicker than the one that the kit comes with. So a lot of times, put that on. Put that on. Now let's check it. A lot of different combinations you can use. good right there I'm, I like that I think that's what we're gonna stay with now, let's see these bolts also these bolts these are uh, bullet line torque converters they send the correct bolts to that fit so with those cheaper ones you usually have to run and go get go get the correct bolt that uh, fits these shafts right here and uh, off the top of my head I can't remember what size that is and uh, take your time don't get ahead of yourself because it's easy to miss steps now on these belts I don't know if you can see this but you got a you got a flat side right here and you got then you got a beveled side the flat side always goes toward the motor
I don't know, I like it. This nut, this bolt right here, I don't, it's not going into that shaft far enough for me. I'm happier with that one. See, this is the one that they can't, they send with it, and it barely, after putting the washers on the line, the, uh, the pulleys up, it was maybe only making about a quarter of an inch uh, into the shaft, which isn't long enough. So that one's probably close to a half inch longer. So I'm gonna feel a lot more comfortable with that than the other one. It's a grade eight bolt. Now this one, what I usually do is if you'll try to hang on with this and just kind of, and that's good right there. It doesn't have to be super, super tight because you definitely do not want to strip out that shaft. <clears throat> and just after you uh, get everything done and you ride it, if you get through test driving it and riding it, uh for a little while go back and check everything make sure all your nuts and bolts are still are still tight like they're supposed to be That's it guys and that is how you install a torque converter on a Baja Warrior 200 right just like that no engine risers quick easy everything is lined up just right like it's supposed to be and uh, she's good to go So hope this video, hope this video helps somebody. Um, I know I see this getting asked a lot on some of the groups that I'm on. So I'll share that to those and maybe it'll reach somebody that, that this will help. But uh, until then, I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you would give me a like and a subscribe, it'd mean a lot to me. And until then, God bless this and that garage out.